Hi, my name is Brian Tokuyoshi, and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about how Global Protect works. Now, you're probably already familiar about the Next Generation Firewall. And the Next Generation Firewall, of course, provides a way that you can get visibility into network traffic, and then you can enforce security policies and stop threats. Now, being able to do this makes, means that you can deliver the protection to make sure you control access who accesses your data center, as well as who accesses the applications that are in the cloud. Now, keep in mind, though, that when you secure your network, you're talking about how you secure your own headquarters, your own buildings, your own offices. So being able to deliver this protection for your network is good. But what about when you're thinking about all those other users that are working remotely? Because those users are working from, let's say, they're working from home. Those users have their laptops. They're using their tablets. And they're using their mobile phones. And they're accessing business applications and data as well. So what happens when your users are using a network that you don't control? You want to make sure that they're getting protection as well, because that if they're not protected, these devices can get infected and can be brought back into the organization and causing a lot of problems for, organizations, for the security teams. So in order to make sure that you get the same protection from when your users are on-premise or when they are off-premise, that's where Global Protect comes into play. So with Global Protect, you can extend an SSL or IPsec VPN connection to these users so that their traffic is being inspected by the firewall as well. There's consistency of enforcement of security policy no matter where the location is, whether they're in the office or they're using someone else's network. Being able to do this gives you all the threat protection of the next generation firewall, including URL filtering, being able to use file blocking, or using all the threat prevention capabilities that you're already familiar with. So let's talk about unknown threats. What about if you have files that are passing through the firewall? You want to inspect that content to make sure that there's not something that's a new piece of malware, a new threat that someone had not previously seen. So being able to send that file to wildfire gives you the capability to understand that if there is a threat present in there, and should a new piece of malware be discovered, signatures are sent back to the firewall so that you get protection. Now, being able to apply this for the mobile workforce includes being able to look for malware in Android package files as well, the Android apps. Talking about mobile devices, Let's add another component to this. What do you do about BYOD? Now, BYOD is a challenge for many organizations because that you have devices that you don't own that, are, that need to be secured as well. Well, that's where our partnership with AirWatch comes into play. When you add AirWatch to this environment, it gives you a couple of additional capabilities. The first being that when AirWatch manages mobile devices such as your smartphones and your tablets that when these devices are enrolled in AirWatch, enterprise apps are loaded into this device as well as the Global Protect app so that the Global Protect app can be transparently installed and configured on behalf of your users. Now, depending on your security policy, you may want all the traffic from these mobile devices to be sent back to the firewall for inspection. But if you're dealing with BYOD, maybe you want to be more specific about which traffic that you're looking at. Being able to use an app-level VPN allows you to inspect the traffic for specific enterprise apps that are loaded on those devices and have those apps, when they are being used, being inspected by the next generation firewall. Another aspect of this integration is that Wildfire shares its threat intelligence with the AirWatch environment. Being able to do this integration gives you the way to do malware detection on these mobile devices. Now think about it. If a user brings a mobile device that's already infected with malware, what can you do about it? Well, AirWatch can inventory the device and find out what apps are installed on there. 
Now, comparing this with the intelligence that it gets from wildfire on ma malware for Android gives AirWatch the capability to detect the devices that are in an infected state. And it can kick off a workflow to either alert the user, or alert the administrator, or do some type of action to correct or remediate the problem. Now, this is how Global Protect works, including with the integration with AirWatch. The benefits that it gives you is that it gives you protection for your mobile workforce. It gives you a secure connection from uh, the users wherever they may be located on whatever network they're using and bringing that traffic back to the next generation firewall. And it simplifies your environment as well because that it reduces the number of components that you need in your network architecture. You don't need to have standalone VPN appliances or secure web gateways or proxies because that Global Protect with the next generation firewall can address those functions for you. So that's it. If you're inf interested in more information about Global Protect, go to www.paloaltonetworks.com/globalprotect.